Hello everyone, my name is Ardian Saptaguna Yudhisura. I am a 11th grader and I am from Duiwara Senior High School. Today I will be telling you all a story. So, at a young age, I was very, very much into English. I was able to speak it at a very young age and I was very confident in it. Uh, Indonesian is my first language and English was my second. Both of my parents were not very fluent in English, and they never really signed me up for any lessons at all. But what they did though was provide me with a lot of English content. Most of the movies I watched were not in Indonesian, they were from Hollywood. And we also had cable TV, which means we got channels like Cartoon Network, Disney Junior, Nick Junior, and many more. They gave us the option of having the characters speak Indonesian, but I was more drawn to the English voice acting. I even remember when I went to my aunt's house and they had like a cartoon with the Indonesian dub on. I was like, can I have a different sound to this show? And my aunt was like, different sound? What? And so yeah. Uh, I watched a lot of Nick Jr. and Disney Jr. as a child. Those computer generated anthropomorphic animals singing and dancing really made my toddler's brain go wowza. And all of those were in English. I was never really taught how to speak English before watching those shows, and those shows didn't even have any subtitles. Well, yeah. But despite that, I was more drawn to the English voice acting. There's just something about the English voice acting that I just preferred over the Indonesian voice acting. The Indonesian voice acting is like a crook compared to the Mafia boss, that is the English voice acting, okay? It's ba way better in performance. <laughs> and so, how did I understand it? Well, the characters spoke very basic sentences, like Annie is eating bread, and they would show Annie eating the bread. It's like when we were babies, and our parents would say, here is food, while holding some food. The baby will understand every word that the parents are saying, but they get an idea of what the parents are saying. And so, not only that, these episodes could have a certain theme to them. Like for example, eating food. The characters would mention the food's name and say things that are related to food. And so the viewers, just such as me, would understand more things when it comes to eating food in English. Since there are many different types of shows, different subjects and themes, Children watching the show would expand their vocabulary on different types of subjects in English. And that is what's happening to me. Despite never having any lessons before, I was able to understand because the thing, you know, they spoke very basic English and they clearly show what the action is. If I was a toddler and I watched a show like Breaking Bad, I wouldn't have, well, learned any English from that show. If anything, I would be very traumatized as a toddler because I shouldn't be watching a show with drug dealers killing each other. No, no, no. As a child, I was very much into English content. I loved so many TV shows and movies in English. And I also watched videos from YouTube, from various YouTubers, such as Dan Tedium. I love it very much. And, well, despite, despite them really helping me understand and the language of English, not really much to the speaking English itself. And though, and thus, a new chapter began my life. It was a big moment. Elementary school came. First grade came. I was ready. Nobody there actually spoke English to me, so my English didn't really improve. But in second grade, I did switch schools to a school with students that actually spoke English to me, so my English was greatly improving because of this. I was very confident in English, like speaking it. I was very confident in speaking it. I would score really high grades when it comes to English exams. It was the easiest subject in school. It was my favorite because it's so easy. It's like, it's like I'm a baby and... Actually, no, that doesn't make any sense. Let, let me backtrack a little bit. Um, I was very confident, even to the point I was being really arrogant and told to my teacher, I mastered English since I was four years old. I would sometimes remember that and 
get the feeling that I want to bury myself into a hole. Uh, but despite that, I do appreciate that I was very confident in English, despite not really putting any much care to the grammar. And don't get me wrong, I was not that great in grammar when I was an ele elementary schooler. I found a paper that had my writing from elementary school in English, and there were some grammar mistakes, and I thought to myself, wow, such English mastered it, a little Ardian. But despite that, despite not really putting much care into learning the specifics of basic structure and such, my English was improving on its own because I keep on speaking the language over and over again to people who spoke English. It's like when, you know, as a little child, we would say things like, Mama, food, give me. It's not like we tr think, try to think about what the best grammatically correct sentence to say is as little children, we kind of just said the things we want to say and, you know, it's not really about making the most perfect sentence, it's about giving people an idea of what, what, people, what we want to say. And so, as we say more and more, our grammar eventually improves on its own. I think we should only learn grammar after we're able to speak the language fluently. It helps you be able to convey it in a more proper and formal way. You know, English had a very great impact on my life. It was certainly a huge impact. There are many TV shows and movies I can watch without having my eyes glued to the subtitles. There are many wide ranges of video games that I can play and immerse myself in it. I could even search the internet all across the globe, accessing information that would have been blocked by a language barrier. It really opened my eyes from naivety. I get to understand many different point of views of the, many people, and I get to understand the world better. In sixth grade, I get to represent my school to a youth ambassador. Me, my classmates, my seniors, and my juniors all went to Singapore to attend this youth ambassador. We got to see many students from different countries. It was such a unique experience. I absolutely treasured the experience. We were once divided into different teams to come up with a project to, well, a project to help the world, to make it a better place. We did our presentation and in the end, not to brag or anything, we got a gold medal. It was such a nice moment. It was great. It was a moment that would make you feel proud. I am proud of myself to be able to speak English. It certainly made me really, really, well, educated in many ways, and I was certainly grateful for what it had on my life. Thank you very much. That is all that I have for today. Thank you for listening.